Their journey starts here. And it's always started here. I know those souls are looking down and we're looking up. Wichita State University. But on this ride, their nearly 500 mile journey is taking them Let it go, brother. to a place they never expected to have a connection to. A mountainside near Silver Plume, Colorado, covered in dense trees, where Rick Stevens and many others lost teammates, friends, and loved ones on a calm, clear day 50 years ago on October 2nd. Yep. Two planes carrying Wichita State football players, coaches, and boosters take off, one making a scenic detour. I got it, I got it. Don't worry about it. Get back up, buddy. A detour that ended on this mountain for 31 people, an area still not visible to the thousands of cars that pass by not far below. And those who can still do make the nearly vertical climb up to the wreckage. This year, Paul and Kelly Harrison doing whatever they have to to help Rick get there. So you got one of those nursing home straps. And in his 70s, he isn't letting his age or the altitude keep him from that spot one last time. You ready to catch me if I tumble down? <laughs> but there's one tree corner that can't be ignored. I have no doubt some of them are still here. Yep. This is where Paul and Kelly see their cousin Marty, a team manager who died in the crash. No words. There's just no words. It's where Rick sees the wreckage he somehow climbed out of. I just get a sense of amazement that, that anybody survived. A place where a piece of a Wichita state will always remain. I've been meaning to do this for 50 years. I just needed Rick to drag me along. And Rick showing them the way. They, they uh, gave me a consistent wedgie on the way up. <laughs> That day, in 1970, the survivors made a promise to live their lives as best they could for them. And thanking those like John Putt, only 12 years old at the time, who ran to the wreckage as part of a rescue crew. And you're forever a part of the memory of this terrible tragedy in a very good way. And if you ask Rick, after 50 years and countless steps, only getting harder, if, just if, it's really his last. You never know. You never know what might happen. Near Silver Plume, Colorado. This is this has been an, it's been good. It's been a good day. Ina All, Eyewitness News.